We also couldn't find a hotel because it's a party congress in this week, so nobody wanted to take in a foreigner. <laughs> where I've been teaching three hours tonight every single class was between 100 and 140 students it was really tough like it was a lot to manage but it went really really well even though none of my PPTs worked none of my videos none of my pictures nothing I had to just improvise everything I was like oh my god I was also it was also necessary for me to speak with a microphone, in a microphone, which was also kind of like, oh, scary. I have this thing with stages. I just get really nervous, but it went so well. It turned out, it turned into a really great experience. I'm a little tired right now, sorry. We also couldn't find a hotel because it's a party congress in this week, so nobody wanted to take in a foreigner. Luckily, somebody knew someone who knew someone, and then now I got a place to stay, which is very nice. I got this two beds, actually. Yeah, I'm just chilling here. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing today, and tomorrow I'm flying out to Chengdu to meet my friends. Yes! From Yin An, I just got up and I fixed my suitcase, and now we're going to the airport so we can fly out to Chengdu to meet my language partner, another YouTuber. Shout out to Austin and my friend who took the train from Beijing to meet me in Chengdu. I'm very excited, so let's just go! It's really cool hustle and I met my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Here we meet again. I'm very tired. You took the very long train. <laughs> it was not very long. It was only 30 hours. Yeah. And I had the hard sleeper. That's true. But then I had, had the top one. And this like the the, the third, yeah, the yeah, one the, under the ceiling, yeah. Yeah, that's the cheapest one of all hot sleepers, and then it's the least amount of space. I hit my head so many times because the ceiling is very low. Oh my god! Were you sleeping the most of the time, or did you walk yeah. around? I took four naps, and then I was sleeping oh. through, through the night. Yeah. Yay! Wow! Well, and now we're just getting some. What is this tofu? Yeah. Yeah. Tofu, yeah. and we already ate the fried bananas. You ate the fried bananas. <laughs> I ate the fried bananas. He said I could uh, have it, and then I just ate all of it. And we're waiting for some um, Sichuan Sichuan opera. Yeah. So now we're walking to Austin's place. Yeah. He lives somewhere here. <laughs> I just had a coffee, black you can't coffee. Hold it that high. black coffee is is king, man. King. It's the black sh black gold. And yesterday I went to bed pretty late. I had to edit, and only 12 people saw my new video. So I'm very sad about it. So I stopped laughing. <laughs> this looks amazing. Look, Austin is living here, and we're gonna move in together. Yeah. Because he lives in a very nice area. We would like to stay here too. It looks very nice. It's like someone's following me, but 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, I don't speak your language. And a bad house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lena is carrying her bag after the real life struggle. Come on, you're doing it. There are too, there are too many cameras and too many MacBooks inside, so. <laughs> Just kidding. Too much <laughs> For what? Uh, we see you at Austin's place. Bye. Okay, so I just met Austin here. We are in Tengu, and uh, can you just introduce yourself? So we can yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Austin Gidry. Um, Gidry. I've been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. Sure. Yeah, Ragin' Cajun last name. There you go. Now, uh, yeah, I've been in China for like six and a half years. I also make videos. I'm over at Austin in China. You can just search Chengdu, and then I'm number one. Yeah. So he's the Chengdu man. <laughs> if you want to know anything about Sichuan University or pandas, then there that's you go. Your guy. Yeah, I'm just I'm the Sichuan guy, generally speaking. Yeah. Yeah. So I just came here to Chengdu with my friend to visit Austin. We're gonna make some collabs together. Well, I guess this is just a uh, backstage, and uh, we'll see you soon. Setting up for the first video. Well, that's way too soon. Right. Ready. This is Austin's decoration over here. <laughs> that's the only bit of flavor in this place. Yeah. <laughs> we're just having a break between the videos, so we're gonna try this. Oh, it's, it's chocolate, yeah. Let's try it. You think they're chocolate in this? That's what the box says, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're fooling you. It just tastes like strawberry. It's nice, like crunchy strawberry. Well, they have. Mmm. I just said goodbye to my friends, and now I'm going with the first train to Chongqing. Getting ready for the wedding rehearsal tonight. I'm very excited. I need to translate the manuscript I got from the bride. And then we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. So it is Saturday evening. I arrived in Chongqing. I already got into my amazing hotel room. I'm gonna show you in a second. I just went for the wedding rehearsal and I said yes to help translate, but I'm gonna be the second host now, the hostess of the whole show, a wedding ceremony in China. It's basically like a, a whole show. So the stress is like, whoops, up here now. Anyways, I'll just show you my room. I'm gonna stay here. And then the other girls are gonna stay over here. Yes, I don't think we're supposed to be three people in here, but I guess it's gonna be fine. They're really small, so. We have a little nice, you know, table and stuff over here. Big window, TV, our stuff. Ooh, yeah, and the bathroom. Let me show you the bathroom. Ooh. Ta-da! So we have the toilet in there. Ooh, it all starts automatically. I'm gonna definitely take a shower in there. I didn't wash my hair since like Wednesday maybe, maybe even Tuesday. This is how my hair looks like when it has been raining outside. Anyways, I've been working out. Can you see it? Can you see it? What, what, what? <laughs> Anyways, okay, we got the top here. That would be cool too. Don't think I'm gonna have time for that though. Big mirror. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hi. <laughs> Okay, that's it. See you tomorrow. Mwah! What an? Good morning, guys! Today is Sunday and I had a little bit of time before I have to go for the wedding. So I thought I would jump a little bit in my room here because I miss exercising. It's really hard though, like I haven't been exercising for like three or four days and just getting started is like struggle. <laughs> so I just try to do whatever I feel like just to make myself sweat a little bit. I guess we are ready for this now, wearing my chi pao. Wow, so this is where the wedding is gonna happen. I'm already emotional now. I always get so moved by stuff like this, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> this is the character for our marriage. She, 2T, 
together. <laughs> wow, I don't know. <laughs> Just finished the wedding ceremony now. I went back to my room, gonna have a little chill and a cup of coffee with my friend, and then we're gonna go back for the dinner, and I'll go back to Chengdu tonight to see my friend again. Okay, so it's Sunday evening now. I just got into the train towards Chengdu again. Finished the wedding, it was so, so cool. Congratulations to my friends. I'm just gonna fill you guys in on what happened here, so. Basically, there is a subway towards this station, but the station has a southern part and a northern part. And I got off at the southern part, but then it was like two or three kilometers to the northern part. And I got my ticket and I was like, oh, this is the wrong place. So luckily there was a guy on a scooter. He just like rushed me there. I gave him some money. I ran through and... So today, because I ate the Chongqing food at the lunch and dinner, so my stomach just got really, it just freaked out, like it hurt so bad. I haven't had this kind of stomach pain for a really, really long time, but today it was just horrible. And I had to rush to the subway because I was also, you know, lack, lacking uh, time. I rushed to the subway, got on the subway, I was like one hour in the subway, I got off and then I realized, oh, I was at the wrong place. Luckily, I got here in time, I just went to get a burger, like, I feel so bad about it because I have been doing so well, like, eating healthy and exercising for quite a while, but now there are just no other options like I just had to do it because I'm so hungry and my stomach was just craving something Western so I'm just gonna enjoy my burger now and try not to think too much about it and then start clean tomorrow again it was a great weekend it was an awesome experience with the wedding but the stomach pain <coughs> Yeah, not so fun. Anyways, I have two hours back to Chengdu where my friend is waiting for me at our hustle, the Lazy Bones. And then tomorrow we're gonna see what we're gonna do then.